Welcome everyone, I'm Megan with Our Handcrafted Life and today I'm going to show you how to make farmhouse style Ray Dunn inspired flower pots. Let's get started! So Ray Dunn designs ceramic pottery. You can find her stuff at like TJ Maxx, Home Goods. sometimes you can find it kind of resold at boutique markets, but really it's really hard to find the pieces that you want because stores will only stock a certain amount and sometimes they get bought up by boutique sellers really quickly, like the first day that they come out. So I was looking for flower pots that I could put in my kitchen and I found this style and I really, really liked it and I thought we can make that. So we're going to make some of our own. It's not going to be exactly the same as Ray Dunn pottery, but it will have that farmhouse style, which is really all I'm going for. So the things you're going to need are chalk paint. Now I'm using DIY chalk paint and I made a video last week about how to make your own chalk paint um, and I'll link to that below. But you can also buy chalk paint. You can buy it from the store if you've got some left over from a different project that's perfect to use for this. Any kind of chalk paint will do. And then you're going to need sharpie markers and terracotta pots. I got my terracotta pots for 98 cents at Lowe's super cheap and I got the little chargers to go with them that were also 98 cents. So really this project is going to cost me less than $10. Okay, let's make some flower pots. So to make the flower pots, I'm going to start by adding a thin layer of paint. Now I don't really care if this color covers the whole thing because I kind of like the, um, you know, distressed look. So if it has a bit of that, I don't mind at all. And then I'm going to paint the inside just down to where um, the dirt will cover. I'm just going to set that to the side, let it dry. I got these little chargers for 98 cents as well, so we're just going to cover them and quick layer of paint. I am not a clean painter. Please tell me that some of you are also messy painters. So wrap the tape so that it touches the bottom the whole way around. That's how you're going to get a straight line. And then the top, you just want to go about halfway down. The top is more of a guide for how far down to go, so you don't have to worry as much about being straight because you're going to follow this line down here. So I put masking tape around the top and around the bottom to give me a guide of where to write. And then I practiced on the table and I think I'm going to practice one more time. Alright, and I feel pretty good about that so I'm going to go ahead and write it. The key to getting the letters to look like Ray Dunn is to make them tall and thin. That's right. <laughs> so I have a helper today and I just picked up some plants at um, the Lowe's nursery. So we've got some sage, some oregano, and some thyme. And we're gonna take it out and put it in our flower pots. Are you gonna help me? Okay. Can you squish it around for me? Squish it, squish it, squish it, squish it. Good job. Oh. <laughs> squish it, squish it, squish it. Good job. Let's get okay. in here. Okay. <laughs> Loosen it up. Loosen it up. <laughs> All right. What do we think? Do we do a good job? Yeah! Yeah! Do you like our plants? I do. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial for DIY farmhouse style flower pots inspired by 
Ray Dunn Pottery. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you want more ideas for living simply and creating beautiful things, subscribe to our channel and go ahead and ring that notification bell so that you'll get an alert every time a new video is posted. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.